Hello all, it's Vanessa Viljean and I'm really, really excited about the topic of this video because it's been my end of year reflection. I've reflected on how the last few years have been absolutely horrible for me, relatively speaking, because I've allowed myself to be naive. I've allowed myself to be in spaces that damaged me. I've allowed myself to be in friendships where I view them as like a saviour or a godsend and they've abandoned me and thus forth made me question my self-worth and also i've signed rooms where i'm very much equipped to be there but because i'm like shriveling in and kind of staying in this place of false ignorance if let's say false ignorance because i actually know what's going on i've just self-sabotaged so yes that's what we'll be talking about because we do not want to enter 2023 naively it's a real world not everyone is good not everyone is pure-hearted and it's important to have your eyes open especially when it comes to yourself because another thing i've learned is that we can't actually control oh look at the lighting there we are <laughs> we can't control our external environments as much as we like to definitely we can influence things we can set boundaries we can set up lifestyles that are conducive to you know our growth and healing but ultimately stability comes from within okay so firstly naivety i describe it as walking around blindlessly like you're putting yourself in situations that you should be better prepared for or you are better prepared for but because you see like a sense of gain from that whether it be like a boost in your dopamine and your hormones hormones is that the right word um your dopamine and serotonin let's say or um you see yourself you know gaining a friend out of that situation or you see yourself like just fulfilling some sort of pleasure or curiosity naivety does have its benefits right because it's like there's a thrill that comes with it right but no one ever talks about the cost no one ever talks about the cost i think it's easy to be naive because being naive means that you kind of dumb yourself down and you just want to see how things go and like i said something's cool about going with the flow but it's not cool when you're broken and damaged and you're a bit worse off than you were when you started personal example my sexual history is largely defined by naivety i thought that giving myself away in the act of sex to a guy that i thought could validate me or hold me down i thought that would result in love i don't know who fooled me i don't know who deceived me but it did not it only it only led me to view myself as like a piece of damaged gum unworthy unlovable and bro like i could have quit this whole hashtag commitment love is real thing because those those circumstances break me it's like i'd be so vulnerable because you know maybe he's nice he said this to me i'm believing your words over your actions <laughs> well, i follow through with the sexual encounter and then bam i'm blocked how does that make me feel i've went into a place hoping for expecting validation because of a whim because of an emotional whim or because of unresolved childhood stuff and i'm landing myself up in worse scenarios or another example is knowing someone is toxic but because i don't have anyone else i'm just settling or because i can't guarantee that anyone better can come in i am settling this applies to me this has applied to me in friendship context and lastly it's not speaking up and not intervening because I fear being lonely or rejected. And in that respect, I die to myself for others. And it seems like that, but I'm actually killing myself and I'm making myself hate myself because I'm trading off actual sense of knowledge um, so that someone external can feel validated or so I can have peace. And even that is like, some of us won't share our opinions or we won't do what we actually want to do because we don't want to disturb someone but it's like ultimately like i said we're disrupting our own growth and healing 
and resentment brews in that environment. Anyway, I think it's important that we challenge ourselves to choose knowledge even when it's difficult. It's like we may be reluctant to learn or educate ourselves on manners that are absolutely foreign to us or or um, discourse around subjects that we've like got long long um, formed opinions on because we don't want to change we don't like change but you never know you never know the liberation that is to follow if we choose to be present and if we choose to embrace knowledge and education like I had to look into myself I had to look at my inadequacies and the other things I ignored in people and I was like rah so I foresaw this as an outcome but I decided to go forward with it anyway with a false sense of hope that was not guaranteed well I chose temporary and instant gratification over long-term gratification just so I could plaster myself when in fact I need operation I need heart surgery because my heart has been hurting or I've lied to myself and I said I'm dressing up for me this outfit's for me and I'm going out half naked I don't get it twisted right now if I want to go half naked I can but if I just come from like such a naive perspective and I'm lying to myself or I'm lying to other people like what what does that set me up for it's important not to settle for a lack of knowledge it's important to not be naive because everything we cover up everything we blindly try and navigate will bite us in the ass eventually and I think it's so powerful to look at something for what it is. To look at someone for who they are. To look at yourself for who you are. To look at what you actually need to deal with. Bro, naivety. Like, I could do a whole series on this. Like, you can be naive about your work ethic. You can be naive about your outfit. You can tell yourself you look great when actually you look whack, bro. You can be naive about anything. But I guess the takeaway message is educate yourself. Ask for other opinions where it's necessary. Don't make decisions off your emotions. Logic and reason rule. Education is the gateway to freedom because you're not just vibing and cruising and trying this here here and then coming out battered you're actually aiming somewhere and you're able to learn from your mistakes and you're able to get better because you're not just vibing i think people choose to be naive are setting themselves up for trauma or they're living with trauma and i say this because that's me that's been me and i don't want to be that anymore <sighs> It has been your favourite vigilant butterfly. The blue butterflies in that. Yeah, I hope this spurs you towards some reflection. I hope this spurs you towards authenticity, towards knowledge, because we all know knowledge is power. Lots of love and happy new year soon. Mwah.